the Marvel Cinematic Universe is getting a sitcom? <laughs> Hi, I'm Genny Lorenzo. <laughs> That's right, I've decided to pronounce my name with a hard G instead of a soft J going forward. <laughs> It's been a banner year for Marvel announcements after being practically radio silent for the past few years on upcoming MCU projects. Kevin Feige and company finally laid out all their cards on the table about the future of Marvel movies and their characters. And while there were plenty of rumors and inside gossip about some of the upcoming projects, fans were delighted to get the official word and details about some of these properties at this year's Comic-Con. One of them most notably being the Disney Plus series about Elizabeth Olsen as one to Maximoff, aka Scarlet Witch, and Paul Bettany as the Vision, called WandaVision. Especially since the last time we saw Vision, ooh, he was suffering from the world's worst migraine at the hands of Thanos at the end of Avengers Infinity War. <laughs> but this is comic books, baby! You think you're gonna let a little thing like death stop Vision from starring in a television show? <laughs> While we didn't learn the specifics on how Vision will appear in this series, we did get a bunch of other tidbits about WandaVision at the info dump that was D23 this past weekend. And one of the details revealed was possibly the most shocking of all, that WandaVision will be Marvel's first ever sitcom. <laughs> well, hold on, hold your horses, because we're going to break all of this down right now. First off, the series got this really cool poster that actually has quite a few hints hidden beneath the quaint Americana on the surface. The warped edges of the frame, the shadows on the wall, and the ominous red glow from the television set really hint that all is not well despite the smiling faces. In fact, if you want all the details on this poster, check out the breakdown of it over at Nerdist.com. The next clue we got was in the form of a teaser, or rather a not teaser, shown at D23. The WandaVision team put together clips of Wanda and Vision from existing Marvel movies that were cut around scenes from the classic 60s sitcom, The Dick Van Dyke Show. It was also revealed that this old black and white sitcom was a huge influence on the 1950s inspired WandaVision, which honestly led to more questions than answers at the time. Lucky for us, this was partially cleared up when the folks over at Yahoo got a hold of the series series stars Bettany and Olsen to ask if this was indeed Marvel's first sitcom and they responded with, yes it is. We can confidently say we're allowed to say it is. Whew, now wow, we aren't used to actually getting straight answers anymore with everything so shrouded in secrecy. Maybe the joke is on us. <laughs> Olsen even said that the producers are still deciding whether the show will have a laugh track. <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> Who does that? Of course, there's an even bigger twist to all of this. Bettany went on to say, that is how it begins, and it moves into more familiar epic territory later, but it's absolutely a mashup of sitcoms. If this is indeed a mashup of different sitcoms, which ones could we see pop up in WandaVision? It seems safe to say that The Dick Van Dyke Show will get an homage, but we're betting we could also see jokes and references to sitcoms across TV history, from The Honeymooners to Cheers to Seinfeld and even Friends. But how does the currently deceased Vision play into all of this, huh? Obviously, Scarlet Witch is going to try to recover Vision somehow, and if the poster is any hint, create a perfect life for them to share. We think the answer has to do with Scarlet Witch's comic book powers of reality and probability warping, and will definitely draw inspiration from several comic storylines, namely the 80s West Coast Avengers run that had Wanda use her powers to warp reality in order to have children with Vision. 2015's The Vision, which had Vision creating his own family in order to try to live an idyllic suburban life, and potentially the House of M miniseries, which saw Wanda warp all of reality while dealing with the loss of her children. Oh. And guess what? None of those things turned out too well for the heroes, which paves the way for Bettany's statement that the series starts as a sitcom and moves into more familiar superhero territory as the show goes on. Also, with this show set to tie into the Doctor Strange sequel, Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, which will also feature Scarlet Witch, another piece of the puzzle, kink, falls into place. That's me putting a puzzle piece back. <laughs> this could also just, this could also just be in another universe. That or Wanda's constant messing with reality and probability could lead to a crisis that stretches across the multiverse. 
Bummer. Oh. We'll just have to see how and if this all happens when WandaVision comes to Disney Plus sometime in 2021. But what do you folks think? Are you ready for Marvel's first sitcom? Do you think? It should have a laugh track. <laughs> and what sitcoms would you want to see referenced in WandaVision? If we don't get at least one homage to The Office, we riot. I'm gonna kill myself! Let's discuss. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and if you like what you saw, why not give us a like and subscribe? If you want to get notified every time we go live with the show or drop a new video, feel free to mash that little bell so you can be up to date on all the latest theories, news, and rumors in the pop culture world.